Hey folks, welcome back to yet another supercharger review video. In today's video, we are highlighting the Bracebridge location, which is on Highway 11, kind of connecting Huntsville and Barrie. Um, kind of backcountry, of course, not a lot going around around here. Sorry, Bracebridgians. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a strategic location, of course, for the folks uh, up north who have some cottages or, uh, you know, drive north to south a whole bunch. So yeah, there's eight stalls, one of which is a pull-through. Not a very usable pull-through though, because you would be blocking the entire uh, kind of road. Um, so you would probably have to detach a trailer or or whatever you're towing in the back if you do want to use the pull-through. So kind of useless. I've seen some better pull-throughs. Interestingly enough, there were signs that said Tesla vehicle charging. I have seen some locations where it said 30-minute um, parking general or something like that. So this location, it's pretty clear uh, that it's for Tesla. Uh, vehicles only which is interesting because they'll probably have to change the signage once they allow you know Rivians and Polestars and all the other makes and models uh, to charge at their location. Given that this location is more or less in the middle of nowhere there aren't a lot of shops and stores and restaurants as I'm sure you can imagine so there is a Tim Hortons at the intersection as you're arriving at the superchargers and right across the street from the Tim Hortons there is a Boston Pizza. But the closest shops to the superchargers are a Pet Value, Bulk Barn, and Dollar Tree. And if you'd like to stretch your legs and go for a little walk, there is a Walmart. And all the way on the other side of the parking lot, there is also a Home Depot. The closest restaurants, if you can call it that, uh, would be an AMW, uh, which you can kind of tell by the litter on the ground. And then there is also a oil change location um, if you want to get the uh, oil changed on your Tesla. There isn't much more that I could really add to this video in all honesty. It's a great location. Um, it really connects the uh, the, the northern uh, folk who drive around here. So that's a well welcomed location. It's just a little upsetting as there weren't a lot of amenities around. And uh, when we were there, we were kind of like, okay, well, it's it's really just Tim Hortons or A&W if you wanted to eat. Because I don't really fancy myself any kibble uh, from the pet store. Um, those Those days are behind me. Anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more videos to come.